and it was a kind of a wild day on the waters in Maine. It was white caps and small craft warnings, and my husband suggested uh, that it was d disappointing that we couldn't go out on the boat, but then all of a sudden the, the water just completely calmed. Jesus really did calm the waters. And in Maine, in October, it just, that just doesn't happen. Uh, and all of a sudden the water was completely calm, like a mill pond, and we went for boat ride. And I always feel the presence of the Lord on the boat. I was praying for comfort, that he would come and bring comfort. And I just didn't expect the visual that I got. I could never have imagined it in a million years. Um, I, all of a sudden, we got to a certain place, and I just felt the presence of the Lord come over me instantaneously. It was like a light switch had been turned on, and the grief and the despair and the, the sadness and the confusion uh, all instantaneously left me. And one of my guests and dear friends, Michael, uh, had been taking pictures of his beautiful wife Elizabeth who's a model in New York at the time and uh, she had aviator sunglasses on and he was noting that she had a reflection of all the people on the boat in her sunglasses and he thought it would make kind of a neat picture but clearly the Holy Spirit was prompting him to take this picture as a brand new digital camera he'd never used it before it wasn't film or a double negative or anything like that and um, he took nine other pictures, and uh, Elizabeth was actually getting a little annoyed that he kept taking the same picture, And uh, but he just felt pressed to continue to take the pictures. On the tenth image, the tenth picture that he took, um, about five minutes after I felt this presence of the Lord come over me, he uh, started to exclaim, uh, who is this guy in the picture in white? that's not on the boat. I was in the glory zone, so I didn't respond at that point. I didn't even hear it at that point. People started to look at the back of the camera, and no, everybody knew that there were 10 people on the boat, not 11, and he made 11. And there was no one dressed like that on the boat in that type of clothing, thin, thin appearing clothing. Um, there was at no time anyone on the side of the boat where I was, and we were just absolutely overcome. I didn't see the picture until we got back to the house because I didn't have my glasses on, but there was a holy fear and a reverence and an awe that came over everybody on the boat, and they started to look at it in the back of the boat and examine the image, and there was this excitement, and there was also fear, I'm sure, even for me, basking in it, there was a holy fear and awe that just came over the boat. The atmosphere completely shifted. And we made our way back to the house, and uh, when I got my glasses on and looked at the back of Michael's camera and I saw it, I was just overcome because I'd never seen an image of a spirit being or an angelic being or, or a picture of Jesus that was that clear. And the m second that I looked at it, Psalm 91 1 uh, just whispered in my spirit, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And it was glorious. I mean, it so penetrated everybody in the house. There was such an excitement. There was like confusion for a couple of people who. Uh, just said that just can't be Jesus that just can't be Jesus because it was so profound my husband who is uh, a very strong man of God but a very very skeptical person very logical person he was piloting the boat and he knew immediately and it has been uh, such a wonderful gift because Jesus revealed himself to my friends, to others, to people who've seen this and experienced it, and there just has been this anointing on it that uh, God just had me make copies of it, and He prompts me to share it with people. I can be in the grocery store, He'll tell me to go up and just kind of 
share my story and it's just been a this incredible segue into telling people about Jesus and how he met me on just one of the saddest days of my life and turned my tears of sorrow into truly laughter and joy that day and it was just such a gift and such a comfort to all of us and uh, it's it's been a, a gift to people far beyond the original ten that were on the boat.